Guy, it's here everybody with another Down and Dirty Guide. Today we're going to be looking at how to install your first DAISY server. I've rented a virtual server through my favorite provider, but you should be able to do the setup from your own computer if you want to. Even though you can do it from your own server, it's better to look at an external provider because then your server can have 24-7 uptime and generally a speedier connection speed for your users. The initial steps for setting up a private server is almost exactly like setting up Arma 2 and DAISY for your own computer. You have to install Arma 2, Operation Arrowhead, as well as DayZ and the Arma 2 beta. First off, if you don't already have it, download DayZ Commander and install it. Open up DayZ Commander, click Install and Update, and make sure that you have the latest DayZ installed. Once you've confirmed all that, close out of DayZ Commander and go to the Arma 2 beta download page. The link's in the description below. Even though you can install the beta through DayZ Commander, the installation from within DayZ Commander doesn't set up the beta the way we need it to be set up so you have to install the beta manually. So after you've installed the latest beta, we're going to download DayZ Control Center from dayzcc.tk, link in the description below. This program is going to do the setup of our server as well as give the ability to easily configure and manage the server. It also comes with a ton of tools that make adminning your server that much easier. Once you've downloaded dayzcc, open up the zip file, then right click your desktop and create a new folder, naming it dayzcc. Drag all the files from the dayzcc zip file into your dayzcc folder. Once everything is extracted, open up the dayzcc folder. Scroll down a bit and right click on the dayz server setup file and click run as administrator. After you've chosen your language, take note of the initial screen. There's a ton of useful and even required information, including section 5 which has all your default passwords. You should read it at least once. When you're done reading, click Next. Since we've already installed the beta, we can uncheck the Install Required Beta option. Leave the Install Required Redistributables option checked on and click Next. The installation will now start, and you'll get the option to install or repair the Visual C++ redistributables. If you get the Repair option, just choose Repair and click Next to install the files. Once those are installed, sit back and let Control Center download and install all the other required files it needs. Once the installation's done, take note of the root password, because you might need it someday. Copy the password down, save it somewhere, and then click Finish. In the DAISY CC folder, right-click the DAISY Server Control Center file, create a shortcut for it, then drag that shortcut onto your desktop. Now before we get in and start up your server for the first time, there are a few more things we have to do first. Open up your Steam installation folder, and then go to Steam Apps, Common, and then Arma 2. In your Arma 2 folder, right-click the Add-ons folder and copy it. Go back to your Common folder, and then go into your Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead folder. In this directory, paste the Add-ons folder you copied. It's around 8GB, so it can take a while. Once the files have been copied over, go into your Start menu and click Control Panel. If you're in the Category view, click the drop-down on the top right side and click Small Icons. Now click on Windows Firewall, and then click Advanced Settings. On the left side, click Inbound Rules, and then all the way on the right side, click New Rule. In the New Rule window, click the Port option, and then click Next. On this screen, click the UDP option and enter 2302-2305 in the specific local ports box, and then click Next. Click Next again, and then uncheck the Domain and Private options. Finally, click Next one more time, Name the rule to be something like Arma 2 Server 1 Ports, and then click Finish. That pretty much covers all the hard stuff. The only thing I didn't cover is port forwarding. If you're going to be running your DAISY server from your own computer, you're more than likely going to need to port forward ports 2302 through 2305. Port forwarding is its own beast, and we're not going to cover it here because there are too many different routers out there. Instead, I've added a link in the description below that goes to portforward.com we should be able to help you out with all your port forwarding needs. Once you're ready, double click the DayZ Control Center icon on your desktop and all the files are now in place and ready to go to let you configure, start and maintain your server. In the next guide, we're going to go over how to secure, configure and start your server. As always, keep on derping. Um, where do I go? No, 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 get up, up, get up, get up, get up.